Okay, using a different camera because I got to upload. We just did the Lizzie Bourdain reading. Y'all, mm. a juicy indie. That's all I got to say. So I'm uploading on my other camera, so I kind of got this one going. It's probably not the greatest quality. Why is it doing that? Hold on a minute, y'all. So just bear with, okay? But remember I told you I wanted to look into, who is this? Homer Williams. So this is not going to be long, but I wanted to see if he has something to do with and again, these are called uh, exposure readings, which I had explained in the update for today that I would be doing stuff like this. And also we need to do Nicole Kissinger coming up. Ooh, that car just flew. <laughs> It literally flew, y'all. So I was asking, did Homer Williams have anything to do with the Atlanta child murders? Okay. Let's go into it. Silver lining. So, he is a traitor in this situation, in this case. I feel like this is just his personality, too. He's a backstabber. I don't get a good energy about him at all. Mm -mm. Also, a part of the corruption, okay? definitely covering up evidence that's why you're a traitor uh, you all said I've been hushed with money so I feel like you know maybe Wayne was throwing him some money for doing what he was doing not necessarily murders but like having the boys over You know how you got, sometimes you got those parents or people you can throw some money to and they just like, whatever, <laughs> you know. I don't see nothing, I don't hear nothing, I don't know nothing, okay. He definitely covered for Wayne Williams. Yeah. Um, he brought a new beginning to the case, though. There was a lot of understanding of why. Um, now, I've read some crazy things, y'all, about Homer Williams, um, that he was... Was it fired from being a teacher for having new photos of the kids? It was something crazy. I don't know if it's true, but I did read that somewhere, okay? And I feel like it's saying rebirth, new beginning. Because he, they knew he covered up things. See, that's what's crazy. He was covering up stuff. But these prosecutors knew that you're covering up stuff. You know what I mean? And it's because it was his son, you know? It's his son. But it doesn't make it right. Yeah, he's got something to do with it because he covered up things. He knew things. He saw things. He heard things. He was sus suspicious of things. You know what I mean? And uh, his son's behavior as well. His erratic behavior is what I get. 
Remember when I told you about them blowouts he would have? Like, um, where he would just be like the Hulk on steroids or something. Um, he would cover for things like that, you know. I, and I told you, I think definitely during his childhood, they covered for a lot of behavior issues. Oh, yes. Yeah, he knew there was only a matter of time that he had to cover up this stuff, too. I can't imagine. Why would a father help a son burn evidence, right? Yeah, this is this card says it all. He tried to walk his son into freedom, but no. He was found guilty. There was evidence. We know what we know. We've done the readings, y'all. And I feel like he was very suspicious of some things. But because, again, Wayne was throwing him a couple dollars. Hey, it's all good, you know. Instead of being a real concerned parent, wondering why there's young kids up in the house, um, partying and acting a fool is what I'm getting. Dark forces. Okay. Homer uh, Williams. Like father, like son. Well, they say the apple don't fall far from the tree. This dark tree. But you created your son. You created a monster. We all know that. Because you a monster. Well, there you have it. The spirits have spoken. And they did pretend they had faith. You know, like they went to church, they pretended like, oh no, we're this Christian family now. Y'all know we we can do no wrong. And I feel like some of the community knew them as that too, so they got away with things. Look at these murdered children. You got an answer for, oh yes. Come on, spirits, talk about it. This is Homer Williams. That's why he is just like his son. He made his son like him. Can't make this stuff up. He got those traits from somewhere. Narcissism is a trait. It is passed down. It is learned. It's like a possession, if you will. Nobody just comes out the womb a narcissist. It's their home life, how they were raised, how they grew up, people they were around, trauma that has happened. They are made. Psychopaths are made. Um, sociopaths, you know, I've, I've seen something scary, though, y'all, that kind of blew me away. There was a, a story, it's about a dude, I think he lived in Japan, if I'm not mistaken. Now, he was eating people and stuff. Y'all might know who I'm talking about. Um, He got away, he's not in prison for it, believe it or not. Still walking the streets, if he's not dead. And um, he said, I was born evil, I, I just knew. I came out the womb evil. Now, I don't know, y'all. Some things spiritual, you know, you can tap into, it'll blow your mind. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. But I feel like these are, like, inherited traits, if you will. Like, you know, they pick this up from other people, other traumas. Because um, a lot of narcissists are hurt people. They've been through things, you know. There's no excuse for their behavior, but they are definitely created. Monsters are created. That's what I believe. All right. Okay, what was y'all in communication about? 
little slicksters. That's what I get, little slicksters. They like to slither their way through the cracks. Okay. You know people, you got connections. You know how to slither. We get it. Oh, he was scared about... Look. <laughs> What's crazy is he was scared about these murders, right? But guess who? Guess who? The light was being shined on. Ooh, he had a strong suspicion. And you cut... Ooh. I knew it. I knew it. Come on, crime TV. Come on, spirits come through. We know y'all are the best of the best. All right. So, did it for money. I feel like, like I said, Wayne was throwing him some dollars. Let me do what I'm doing. I don't think he knew totally what he was doing, but having the boys over... This fake studio time, whatever. All right. I feel like he was just hushed with money from his son's behavior. And I feel like he would give his son money too. It was like vice versa, you know? They had an understanding. It's a weird feeling if they had an understanding. Come on, spirits, explain. They were both the same, same characteristics, just shady. All right, talk about it, spirits, come on. They were shady. They understood how to be sneaky and conniving. All right, how to slither through the cracks of things. Okay. Very interesting. And he's not this great teacher, y'all. Talk. Going to church, y'all. Get over it. Yeah, these children want justice for you covering up, backing off, not doing nothing about things you hear, see, sense. And they gonna get their justice because they at war with you too. What in the world do you have such a strong significance to do in this case? I'm going to find out. I ain't got time to play with you, Homer. That's such an ugly name, Homer. <laughs> forgive me, anybody named Homer. Please forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. I didn't mean to say that. Okay. Helper. Yeah, he was a helper. Getting rid of stuff. Covering up stuff. Y'all know he got a past, right? Working with the government. Y'all ain't know that. So he knows how to slither. Be a snake. Investigation. He knew what was... Come on now. You had a very strong suspicion about your son. Oh, yes, you did. Yes, you did. Mm, I can see how he looking at his son. You, mm. You ain't right. But money talks, y'all. Money talks. This is the way he felt his, he was getting repaid for all the money that he loaned to, uh, Dust Bunny, that's what I'm going to call him, Wayne Williams, that didn't want to have a job or work like everyone else um, or go get a skill or go to school and have a nice job. Um, he decided he wanted to do a little street stuff because everywhere he worked, people knew he was weird, like he kept getting fired or they didn't want nothing to do with him. They knew who he was. All right, a weirdo. Okay, you know he had evidence. Y'all hit it. Y'all threw it in a box somewhere. Y'all burnt it. 
it's still, y'all, I still feel there's evidence in that home. I told y'all he got a fake trap door that will make your toes curl back. Where is that at? And not only that, I feel like that house is haunted. With spirits from the children. So is that station wagon. So anybody that's driving that thing, you might want to burn it. And, and them cars. Uh, but I feel the station wagon, y'all, was like a hearse. All right. So it was used like a hearse. Oh, my goodness. Stop. That is crazy. But true. He knew about the police wanting information. He worked with the police. What you mean by that? So he worked with the police, y'all. I'm drinking my green. Excuse me, sir. He knew people in the police force that covered up things too. Well, I'll be. But we're learning about, look how much information was destroyed. Books, tapes, pictures. Probably books on him studying other killers, how to cover up evidence. We didn't have Google then. We didn't have like stuff where they can go on his computer or computers to see, oh, this is what you was looking at. No. But he would, I feel, study other killers and things. You know? Ways to get rid of information. He was, you know, he was a nerd. He liked to read. He liked to study. But he wasn't reading and studying the right things, y'all. Nothing positive, you know? Just ways he could be a snake like his father. Y'all, I ain't making this up. What is going on? Mm-hmm. Now, Homer, is this talking about you or your son? Because it's one of y'all or both. Mm-hmm. Learning. Oh, my Y'all stop the press. Stop the press. One crime TV. Just stop it a minute. All right. Mm. What did I say? That he was studying books. Wayne Williams, his son. There's probably was books in that home and things where they burnt it, got rid of it. About what? How to be that successful killer. How to get rid of evidence. How to do patterns that other killers have done. Isn't that enlightening? And you got rid of stuff like that. Why would your son be reading about killers? And how to kill? Mm. Please stop. I also read medical books. Very interesting. So, of course, if you're studying medicine, you would know how to kill someone, what works, uh, stuff about drugs, stuff about chloroform, stuff about, oh, my goodness. Y'all, how to kill. How the organs work. What causes less blood splattering? What, you know, this is the stuff he was into. Mm. What a weirdo. We all know he's a weirdo. Trap. Yeah, this stuff was hidden somewhere. I told you there's a trap door. I'm sorry, but I had to do it like that because these detectives need to get off their. I'm not going to say the word on here. But, um, all this evidence, some of this evidence is somewhere in the trap door. 
or was in that trap door. Oh, there was stuff in that trap door, y'all. That was really his secret life in that trap door. His alter ego. His evil side. Tell me more about his son, but hey, okay. It showed where he was responsible. We'll go further into it and see. Growth. So yeah, he profited off of this, you know. Getting thrown a couple dollars here and there to be quiet and go about his way. I even feel like he threw him a couple dollars to get him out the house. So he could have time to do what he needed to do. You know, here, Dad, here's a couple dollars. Go get you a steak dinner. Take Mom out. Give me the house for a couple hours. Let me do what I got to do. But his dad was watching because he knows me. You know. And he lied because he seen things, heard things. Since things was off. All right. He even knew his son was, um, <clears throat> excuse me, dabbling in some of this. Doing drugs in the house. Conspiracy theories about it, you know. Listen up. This is the truth. Just throw him a couple dollars. And it's okay, you know, to do what you need to do. Knew his son was strange. Everybody told him your son's strange. And yes, he has seen things in that home, like maybe blood, blood spots, blood splatters. Things, you know, that um, I feel his son lied about. And he just wanted to get away from the situation. Like, I just feel he had a very strong suspicion about his son. Mm. I feel he actually wanted to get away from his son, y'all. Because he knew his son was, you know, different from a child. It was something off. But home ain't no prize, y'all. We saw what card came out for him. Okay, that's the story. Um, yeah, him and his dad were different, though, even though they were so much alike. They got that conniving thing alike. Both into like sexual kinky stuff, you know, that they lie about. Mm. They said they both got like some sexual kinks. All right. I feel like his dad is also a predator of some. Let me find out they both like into kids or something crazy. Because you know he was fired. They said he was fired for um having inappropriate pictures of children or students or whatever. Oh my goodness, y'all. You won't believe what I'm getting. I feel like he was happy his son was gone. Even though he was covering for him. It was a lot going on in that home. That dysfunction ain't the word. That ain't even the word. Look, a lot of secrets in that home too. All right. I feel like for one, Homer ain't no good. Let's put that on the map. His little church going Sundays ain't fooling me. Neither is his education. 
Um, it's one of the things where parents know their kids is off, but they feel guilty because they're off. And they feel like it's some type of way, am I the one who has caused this with the sins of my life? All right. Well, yes, that's the answer, Homer. You you are responsible spiritually in some way of what happened to those children. Absolutely. You on the line. Because I feel covering for your son was a crime in the spiritual realm. Not here, because you know here, corruption is the thing. And the spiritual realm, that would be considered a crime. That what was happening to those children. And you had a strong suspicion about your son. Because you knew your son was off. But you've done things in your life where you felt like this is why my son is off. There's things about me. This still does not make it right, though, because these children are no longer with us. They were tortured. Come on, spirits. You want to talk about what happened to them? They were tortured. They were used, abused, misused, thrown to the side like trash, disregarded by people who should have cared about them, which would be law enforcement, uh, parents, uh, the community. They were let down. You are absolutely responsible. Because you had a very strong suspicion of your son. You know, he was reading weird things, looking at weird things, doing weird things, talking about weird things, acting a fool in the house. Let's go into a crime TV. Even your neighbors complaining about his irate behavior, the screams, the loud music, the partying, the disruptions. The screams they would hear. And you allowed him to just throw you a couple dollars for your silence. Absolutely unacceptable. And that's what I figured. And I know the mother is the same. Mm -mm. So you just keep quiet because you feel like, oh, this is the way I'm going to get my money back for all the money I gave him because he don't want to do the right thing. He don't want to go work. He don't want to go find a skill or a good job for himself. He would rather get into street uh, situations whether it be selling drugs or children or people. Uh, and you knew he was unemployed, so how is he getting all this money? You know what I'm saying? As a parent, we're not stupid. We know if our children are involved in corruption because they're bringing in all this money, but they don't have a job. It doesn't add up. You knew your son was into something shady. You're shady, though, so you didn't care. Your bloodline comes from shadiness on your family tree. It should say shady on every leaf. And yet the community and the world and families had to pay for your negligence and your turning the other cheek. Well, y'all, I said I would go into it. I don't even want to feel this man's energy no more. Ew. Or your son. 
I said I would go into the exposure reading for Homer Williams. And I feel like ain't no use even doing the mother because they're both alike. I don't even want to do it. I don't even want to do it. But her karma was more Wayne busting her around sometimes. Because she was involved in a lot of that covering up too. And you know, I don't know what it is, but Wayne has some against mothers. I don't know what in the world. That's a whole nother reading. But he did not like the female species, y'all. And no, I ain't even gonna say he was bisexual because he didn't like women. Just like, um, yeah, it's just because a man sleeps with a woman don't mean they like women. It's a cover-up. He didn't like that woman he was dating. He did that to show the family, oh, no, I like women. Look, I'm with a woman, yeah. I'm all right. But deep down, that man was homosexual, as he could be. And I'm not saying nothing against homosexual. I'm just saying he was homosexual. He liked men, boys. Okay, just like Jeffrey Dahmer said, I don't want no woman. I, that ain't my thing. If he was being honest, he would have said the same thing. So with that said, y'all. Hmm. And I think then being black and being homosexual, especially in the South. Oh, my goodness, was so looked down upon. It was so judged because, you know, Georgia's like a Bible belt, y'all. So, no, that is a no-go in the late 70s and early 80s. That was a no. And um, so he had that, you know, woman. I got to find her name. That woman he was dating as, um, you know, his little cover-up. But he didn't want that no time. And um, y'all, this is crazy. Now, I do feel like Wayne Williams was abused. And he took a lot of his anger out in them killings or whatever he did to them children from his abuse. But I don't know. I have to go into another reading to look deeper into that. But I do know he has some against mothers, and I need to figure that out. Anyways, okay, so that was about Homer Williams. I keep wanting to say Homer Simpson. <laughs> oh, gosh, no. No, that's a whole nother story. That's not Homer Simpson. It's Homer Williams. All right, y'all know what to do. Like, share, subscribe. This is the exposure reading for Homer Williams, Wayne Williams, the Atlanta Child Murders. Also, donation links are up. Let's get these likes up and subscriptions and views so we can get out there. And y'all have a great day.